Hey there, hope you're having a good day. I want to share some info I found on the Undecember patch slated to come on December 14th, specifically regarding runes. I've gathered this info from a site that may not translate everything exactly, so names may be different when these are actually released. I will put my sources in the description. I'm going to tell you what they do, how you can get them, and also give my thoughts on each, so let's get started. We're going to start with a couple of positional runes, the first of which is Sacred Light. You channel a beam of light in your cursor's direction. Not sure how it will handle, handle auto-target with that. Um, the skill has an interesting component where it deals damage based on your highest damaged element. It also has a stacking component, which I assume builds up over the channel. This gets up to 35% amplification, which is really good. And it adds 30% penetration at the highest stack. So this just means you want to be able to stand still as long as possible to get the most out of this skill. You can get this skill through magic rune synthesis. So relatively accessible. The second positional rune is scorching arrow. You shoot a burning arrow in a line dealing damage to enemies in the path. You gain a stack on each hit. I don't know if that's limited to one stack per attack or if you hit multiples you'll get multiple stacks. I, I don't know that. But um, you will lose stacks at about five stacks per second when you're moving. So in other words you want to be able to plant your feet with this one. It does add on little side projectiles and attack speed as you build up stacks. It looks kind of like a kill the enemy before they kill me type of skill. You should be able to get this one from the rune shop on release, so very accessible to everyone. It may be worth picking it up just to try it. Next we have Electric Area. It's an AoE lightning skill. It's a zoning skill. It deals lightning damage every half second, and the area is a decent size. Um, this skill also has an additional chance to shock. It feels like a support skill to soften up packs. Also note that the shock status effect increases the damage they take, so again, kind of a support skill. You'll be able to buy this one in the shop as well after the update. Firestorm is a spinny skill. The special thing about this skill is that it repeats on enemy death. The repeat deals over double the original damage of the skill. It also has an increased burn chance and deals increased damage to burning enemies. It looks like a great way to blow up large packs. Unfortunately, this skill is only available through Rare Synthesis, so it's going to be kind of hard to get. The last skill we have is Whirlwind Slash. This is a physical pierce all projectile skill. It's a charge based skill, so it's likely going to be more of a supporting skill. It also has a slowing effect. So that kind of furthers that notion of being mostly a supporting skill. It seems good for managing and softening up large packs of enemies. Now, the my understanding so far is that the projectiles themselves deal damage. So if this skill can shotgun, it'll be really strong. Probably even on single target, but I honestly, I doubt that. I doubt it'll be able to shotgun. This skill will be available through Magic Synthesis, so somewhat accessible. 
So those are the five upcoming skills in the next patch, slated to drop December 14th. Are you going to use any of these skills? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I hope you have a good day.